I am totally not surrounded by laundry and a couple of empty boxes. So welcome to my new and temporary office. Hello guys, we gathered here today to talk about lasers. Lasers are cool and this is AutoMaster LM2. Wait a minute, I already talked about this, so this is in this video there if you're interested. But today we're going to talk about a, a different laser engraver, but first I need to change the display. Alright, that's so much better now. This is Auto Alfero 2 and this is a new engraver that uh, they've sent to me, so I could take a look and tell you all about it. And there's plenty of information to tell. In case you never come across laser engravers before and wonder what sort of cool things you could expect from a device like this, um, just take a look at the laptop in here which has my engraving. Granted, made on the previous one, but uh, the Alfero 2, this particular configuration, comes with even a better uh, laser head oriented towards uh, engraving. This is LUT, a short focus one, I'm gonna talk about it in a second. But first, let's talk about what uh, this is and why this is pretty cool. So if you ever wanted to jump into engraving and the price of the original uh, laser engraver that I've uh, reviewed previously was slightly too steep, then this is solution for you. Providing you are able to accept a couple of conditions. First, I'm gonna point out two things that are missing, that are present on the Auto Master but not present on the Alfero 2. Let's start with silly things. There is no cable chain management, so well, we'll have to keep it on the side. It's not a big deal, really. Next up, you'll notice that there is a emergency stop button also missing. We do have a reset button that performs the same function, but uh, it's a little bit less accessible. Another thing that isn't present is the flame detection, which means you'll have to pay extra attention to this machine when it's engraving, just to make sure nothing sets itself on fire. If you haven't figured out already, uh, mixing lasers and possibly flammable materials that you're going to engrave, it's not the best option to leave unattended. And the last thing that is missing are the limit switches. And I know what you're thinking, wait a minute, no limit switches? How am I going to home this? Well, you won't. And this is not and necessarily a bad thing, because this machine operates homeless without homeless. Can I say homeless? <laughs> and that's okay, because for the most part, every time I have a piece of material which is smaller than that, I just place it in a position where I think it's okay, and then I have to set the origin to one of the corners and make sure my design fits in there. So homing isn't really required, unless you're planning on stopping midway, removing your gantry across without using a software and then hoping that the machine will still know where it is in space. Not a scenario I ever come across, if I'm honest. None of those things that are not present on our Ferro 2 are mandatory, so if you really want to have an engraving experience, you do have a pretty good deal for your money. Depending on the configuration of your laser head, the prices start from $269, with additional discount being available if you use the code from the description of this video. You still get 39cm by 39cm working area, which is huge, 5.5 diode based laser, and pretty fast steppers, which means if you want to run this really fast as advertised, you'll have to bolt this thing down, otherwise it does have ability to move the frame due to inertia. You can buy Alfero 2 in extra configurations. Now this one I have in here, it's a short focus laser head, but you also can get just a standard one and the long focus which comes with air assist nozzle and it's made for cutting more than engraving. So this one's gonna have a tighter beam, smaller gaps and nicer engraving. Just like before, you'll be able to extend the capabilities of this machine by purchasing add-ons like this YRR 2.0, basically a bottle add-on, so you can put the bottle glasses and engrave on round objects. Really cool. All you have to do is just swap the cable on one of the axes and you're ready to go. 
All the add-ons are also available, including a screen, so you can control it directly from the screen. There is a Z razor, so you could uh, lift your axis easier. And lastly, there is an enclosure that is coming soon. Right now, I don't know when, but it's going to be available if you want to protect your environment and your material from setting itself on fire. But one of the biggest change was in approach to shipping. This thing was partially assembled, which means I only got a handful of uh, screws to complete the build. And it took me about 20 minutes, a process I could probably cut down to 10 if I know what I'm doing already. So that opens up an opportunity to store it disassembled, which means it won't take as much space. So if you're planning on getting a laser engraver from Orto, you have to and remember a couple of things. This is not a laser cutter. The main use of that is engraving. Yes, you can cut uh, weak materials, especially if you have an air assist, but the main use of it is to engrave stuff. The laser isn't powerful enough to cut through thick acrylic or wood, so bear that in mind. If you have anything that is thin, you should be just fine on multiple passes. Second of all, if you are new to engraving game, engraving is an art. So while having a design loaded on your computer is a good start, you'll still have to tinker with what works best for your laser engraver and the material you're working on. Just take a look at these sample engravings I've made. You can clearly say that I was uh, trying out different settings and getting very different results from burn edges and cut through material, which is impressive on 3mm uh, plywood, to, well, better or worse looks. But it's not just wood that you can engrave, there are plenty of other materials that allow you to do it, especially if you prepare your surface accordingly to make it easier to scar and engrave. So you can work on stainless steel, which works pretty great, also on jeans, especially dyed one, I have some various pieces of wood that's been sent to me, more stainless steel, there is some leather that you can try out and see what the effects are like, again some jeans and a different leather color, I've got some MDF to cut and obviously acry acrylic. With addition of special paint or anodizing you'll be able to engrave of different materials or glass, so bear that in mind and do your research properly, otherwise you won't be happy with the results and it's probably not going to be a fault of Arofero 2. So if I have any advice to you how to get started with Arofero 2 is take your time, do your research and do your own notes. After all, you are responsible for sourcing your own material and it might differ to what you see online or online guides. What I really like about this engraver was how easy it was to put it together even without looking at the instructions uh, small convenience things like magnetic cover for your um, laser module and easy Z height adjustments thanks to the included plate. And so far I didn't really experience any issues while running it except for one. If you're going to use Lightburn, which I strongly recommend it and I'm going to link it in the description, it's not very expensive, but if you're going to use this, disable automatic homing on initialization because it won't work as you don't have limit switches. It works without limit switches so you don't need that and you'll be able to move the machine in a correct orientation, set the origin position and start your job in there. Thanks to the preview function you can trace around the engraved area to align your material better and that way you'll never scar a table or your mat. So guys, if you are interested in engraving and don't mind paying extra attention to a budget version to make sure nothing is set on fire, then the link is going to be to this machine in the description of this video. It's a very useful machine if you have plenty of individual gifts to give for birthdays, Christmases, etc. and you can make back your money really quickly. So this is the end part of the video in which I'm going to tell you that I do not have a posting schedule but I do have a fancy, unique, engraved laptop and that should give you an idea what you can do with anodized aluminium. But what I would like to say, you know how it works, I'm not going to explain you all of this uh, and how to keep in touch but I would recommend you to follow me on any given social media because this is the easiest way to stay in touch, especially that YouTube suspends the comments with links so if you want to share something cool social media is the way to go so guys thanks so much for watching happy engraving don't burn anything 
and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.